Hey guys, HW. Beautiful day in Sydney today. It's a Friday. Um, I'm heading out to Marrickville. I'm currently at Sydney Station. Hopefully you can see the city in the background over there. We're only seven kilometers away from the city, or four miles. And today, as I said, we're heading over to Marrickville. It's a, uh, it's a bit of a hipster suburb these days. Back in the old days, it was uh, quite industrial. Uh, a lot of workers' cottages around. And what the plan is, is to head over to Owner Coffee, which is the home of a famous, world famous barista by the name of Sasha Sestik. Uh, there's a big plane going overhead. But uh, we're going to get over there and try some of his coffee out. I wanted to try it last time I was in Canberra, which is where he started, but I didn't get a chance. And one of the first things I need to do is work out how do I get out of this station. I'm not too sure. Oh, I think I've just worked it out. Is it on the other side as well? Just face back towards the city over here. I think I've worked out how to get out of the station now. So I'll tell you a bit about the weather. It's uh, 19 degrees Celsius in Sydney today. The wind's from the west, 22 kilometers an hour, which I believe that makes it about 13 miles. So uh, the 20, sorry, the 19 degrees Celsius, um, what's that convert to about 66 Fahrenheit? So with the breeze, it's, a, it's quite cool, but out in the sun, it's beautiful. So I'll join you again when I get out onto the street and tell you a bit more about what we're doing today. All right, we fi I finally worked out how to get out of Sydney Station. And we're gonna turn into Marrickville Road in a moment, hopefully. And then make our way over to the first stop, which is Owner Coffee. Hopefully get myself a delightful pour over coffee if they've got it. Because this guy is known for sourcing some pretty delicious single origin beans. And it would be, uh, it would be a waste to, uh, you know, just go for a flat white. Need to go for a... Uh, a pour over or a drip coffee or at least a black coffee anyway. This is Railway Parade we're on. I picked Sydney Station to depart the train because it was close to owner coffee. As we head down here, I should tell you a bit about Marrickville, shouldn't I? A bit of the history of Marrickville. I need to find somewhere to put the camera down. This garbage bin will do. Face it down, Marrickville Road. Or I think this is Marrickville Road. So a bit of the history. So after European settlement, so all of this area was, uh, the indigenous population was the Gadigal people. But then after the uh, European settlement, a man by the name of Thomas Cholder was uh, awarded land around here, acreage, I think 60 acres in all, 
and he named his estate Marrick um, after his village Marrick in North Yorkshire and then obviously later it became Marrickville and over the years it's changed quite a bit so um, after after all the land was subdivided in the 1850s it became a bit more a bit more industrial there were some businesses and some houses around uh, the population has changed over the years as well um, initially there was um, as well as the normal European population uh, there was an influx of Greek migrants into the area uh, who are still here today um, and then later in the 70s um, the Vietnamese started to migrate to Marrickville en masse so there's a real uh, melting pot of different cultures in Marrickville and we'll see that as we head through the area today um, so yeah as I said I'm going to stop at Ona Coffee first because I'm absolutely stinging for a nectar and then after that we're going to walk over to a I'm not going to tell you where yet but it's a bit of an obscure place but I want to have a look at it and check it out some of you will find it interesting and then by then hopefully we'll be able to walk around onto Illawarra Road and try out some Vietnamese rolls over there and then uh, and then I'm going to head over to um, I think I'll probably head over to Enmore Road and check out the Enmore Theatre so as I said it's only it's only four miles from the city or seven kilometers so there's a lot of inner west suburbs of Sydney that are all bordering uh, Marrickville and so it's not hard to you know walk a little short distance and you're in a new suburb so let's get down to uh, Ona I'll see you soon how funny I just walked past completely walked past where I'm supposed to be going this is Ona coffee up here There's a lot of people in there. We come at the wrong time. We're only here for their morning coffee. And over you can see what it looks like inside. There's a few people in there having a tasting. So I'll stand here and wait. All right, here we are in Ona, and we're about to test out some test out some coffee. Got the menu here. Looking for a filtered coffee. They've got like three or four pages of different filtered coffees you can get. And here's some of the beans you can take home if you like. They've even got some coffee chocolate over there. A bit of merchandise on the wall. So let me order and then I'll uh, whack the camera back on when it gets here. So this is the one that I went for. I've gone for this Kenyan one. I don't know whether you can read it on the menu. But it's called Lot 118 Maguta Coffee Estate, Kenya. I can't read <laughs> I can't read the rest of the words. So yeah, it's a Kenyan one that I've chosen. Alright, here we go. The Kenyan filtered coffee has arrived. I've got my little beaker here. Might just have a little taste first. Wow, it's 
delicious. You can definitely taste the floral um, arrangement in it and uh, it's quite, quite sweet. It's quite a delight. Yeah, wow. This is the way to have filtered coffee, guys. Oh, wow. The aftertaste is really nice. Really sweet. Bit of a, a little bit of a tang to it. A bit of the background while I'm sucking down this nectar. Yeah, so if you're in, um, get out to Marrickville, get to own a coffee. If you want to, if you like your single origin filtered coffee, and uh, see you again soon when we get outside. All right, as we leave Ona behind, that was a delicious nectar, let me tell you. Now we're going to head over to a bit of an obscure place in uh, in Marrickville because I just want to check it out and hopefully you find it interesting. So, just heading up to Meeks Road up here and turn down that and then get onto Victoria Road. And then head over to this place that I want to check out. But before I, before I do that, before I say goodbye to you for now, before I get over to that giant, let me tell you a bit more about Marrickville. So, after the history I told you before, uh, it's become a bit of a hipster joint. Um, some people like to call it the new Paddington. Some people like to call it the new Newtown. But there's certainly a, a hipster culture here now. There's heaps of live music uh, venues around. Uh, there's heaps of little micro breweries that you can visit. I'm not going to have time to do those today. And uh, there's also, uh, yeah, a big sort of, um, sort of, uh, yeah, as I said, like a hipster culture around here now. Um, so, let's head over to the other joint and uh, I'll see you soon. All right, we're coming up on the next location, which is a, it's a, bit, a, a bit obscure, this joint. I don't usually showcase these sort of places, but um, we're at Reverse Garbage. I think this is Renwick Street, the corner of Renwick Street in Carrington. Let's have a look at this insect up here that they've constructed out of recycled materials. Look at all those different sized car tyres there. There's some metal sheeting for the wings. It's obviously supposed to be some sort of wasp. Looks like a, a European wasp or a Japanese hornet. So this is the building here and it's called Reverse Garbage. And they take uh, materials out of tips and recycling centers. And I think initially they started out, they, um, they recycled the materials for educational purposes. So they put the stuff together for like arts and crafts for the kiddies and that. But now there's all sorts of customers that come here, like artists and designers and, you know, all manner of people come here to find treasures. So let's get in there and have a look. So 
this is what I wanted to see. Look at these all these old bits of material, bits of leather, bits of vinyl, all these buttons. Bits of foam, bits of wood, look some old parquetry flooring there. Oh yeah, look at that. They've constructed a whale out of recycled material as well. Look at these old, I think they use these to corner off wet areas on floors, don't they? Those things, all these old red bottle tops. Oh wow, look at this! All these, cor all these corks here. Well, I don't know about this. <laughs> look at this old um, specimen vials. <laughs> I don't know whether I'd like like the idea of that being recycled. <laughs> Some old mannequins. Old piano there. Yeah, this place is pretty cool. Oh look, some old wedding dresses. Some old law books here. Housbury's Laws of England. Oh, National Geographics. Look at this massive teddy bear. It's massive. It's 500 bucks if you want it. Big line. Christmas reefs there. That big dinosaur head up there. So old violin cases. Yeah, quick skirt around reverse reverse garbage. I oh, hear some stuff that not even they want by the looks of things. Oh no, that's available as well. Two dollars. A yarn of wool or ball of wool. Oh look, there's a better shot of that dinosaur up there. Yeah, that's great. Reverse garbage. Next time you're in Marrickville, get around it. Oh, there's Pablo and Rusty's over there. Probably pause here and tell you a bit more about Marrickville. So not only is own a coffee here, own a coffee roasters, but they're all here. All the major coffee roasters in Sydney are here in Marrickville. They've got, you know, we've got Coffee Alchemy. And uh, if you remember from my Strand Arcade videos, we went and visited their coffee shop, Gumption. That's one of theirs in the city. So they're here. We could have we could have gone there. I think All Press is here. Um, yeah, just oh, Double Roaster. Double Roaster is one of my favourites there here in Marrickville. Um, look, I, I could spend days here just walking around Marifal. There's so many places to go. Live music places, as I said, microbreweries, all the different roasters I could go and test out their nectars. But today I just don't have time. So I've just picked out a few spots that I want to check out. Next time you're in Sydney, you'll have to come out to Marrickville on the train. As I said before, it's only seven kilometers or four miles from the city. Catch the Bankstown line out from Town Hall, Wynyard or Central. And you'll be here in a jiffy. And then you'll be walking around. So anyway, next stop on the, uh, on the itinerary is Illawarra Road, where we're gonna taste out something delicious. 
All right, we're just heading down Culvert Street on our way to Illawarra Road, I think, where the next location is that I'm going to do a little vid on. But as I walk down this street, I just re was reminded of something. So I don't know whether it still is, but there was a while where this area was a known place where you could come and get some... Uh, some recreational pickups if you know what I mean you know golden brown texture like sun you know that sort of that sort of recreational pickup and I'm sure you can get all sorts of stuff but I don't know whether it still is but I did I did remember seeing in the news that there was a there's some sort of bust out here for another one of those recreational pick-me-ups so there might be still some of it in the area. Be interesting to know if it still is. I think the other place that they they go to to pick up that sort of stuff is Cabramatta. But um, definitely back in the day, what there was a bit of it around here as well. So let's keep heading towards Illawarra Road. And we'll stop off at the next joint. I've got a mind like a sieve. The other thing that I wanted to tell you was a little bit about the real estate. So you see these old Victorian terraces and semis around. The average price, which has dropped a bit recently, the average house price in Maryfield is 1.8 million, or sorry, the median price, I should say. And uh, the median unit price or condo price is 760000 All the property prices around here have dropped a bit like it, like it's happened in the rest of Sydney. Um, probably the rest of the world as well. Property prices are starting to drop a bit. I must say I'm a bit, a bit concerned um, at the way things are going at the moment. I've um, been reading a bit about the, the stock market the last couple of days and as my phone goes off, let me get rid of this, uh, he can wait. Yeah, so getting a bit worried, like there's a few pundits pointing towards a but pointing towards a bit of a crash and and uh, definitely over the last couple of nights the the Nasdaq has uh, dropped some points so I hope it doesn't continue I hope it turns around and we get going again but then there's all the worry about China as well so yeah uncertain times but uh, let's get over to Illawarra road and uh, drown our sorrows a bit all right made it into busy illawarra road it's a shopping center over there illawarra place and i'm walking this way because i'm just assuming that this is where the place i'm heading to is located and i'm not actually sure Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> I can see the queue out the door already. Ah, oh, I can't believe I've got to line up again. But yeah, where we're heading is we're heading to uh, Marrickville Pork Roll, which is a famous um, Vietnamese roll shop. It is lunchtime, so... Of course, it's going to be quite crowded. Now, look at the queue out the door. Now, this um, most recently, the last couple of months, the famous uh, food blogger from YouTube, Mark Williams, he came here to Marrickville Pork Roll and tried out a few, a few rolls. So he's obviously made it a bit more popular. So yeah, now we join the the queue. We join the wait. I hope it's. I hope it's worth the wait. 
Oh, we're getting a bit closer now. Uh, I've just come down this laneway. There's a, quite a crowd in Illawarra Road. So that's what we've got. There's the Vietnamese barbecued pork roll with chili. Trying to balance it on my leg. Let me see if I can show you, give him, um, myself having a bite of it. Yeah, delicious. The ingredients are so fresh. It's a triumph. Oh yeah. Just dropped it on my foot. All right, I've smashed down that barbecue pork roll and here's my the remnants of my lunch the bits that I dropped on the in the laneway But um, there's a bunch of magpies around They'll soon clean that up. So I'm not littering Don't worry about that. All right, we'll head back to Illawarra Road and there's a Decent size Vietnamese business there, a Vietnamese fruit market. And there's a whole bunch of them as darting up and down the road or lining up and down the road here. So I'll need to get my skates on to get over to the next location so soon. Alright, we've made it. Here's the Enmore Theatre, the famous Enmore Theatre. Yeah, it's called the Enmore Theatre, and we're on Enmore Road, but it's not actually in Enmore, it's in Marrickville. So the Enmore Theatre is considered to be in Marrickville, so this side of the road, Marrickville, and the other side of the road, Enmore. And some of the famous people that have played here over the years, I was reading before, Bob Dylan. I don't have my glasses, so it's hard to read through all of this. Yeah, Bob Dylan, Coldplay, The Cranberries, Europe, Kiss has played here, Lily Allen, Mark Knopfler, who else have we got? The Ramones. The Rolling Stones, the Rolling Stones are played here, wow. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a rite of passage. Everyone that comes to to Sydney to play, at one stage they'll have a little concert here at the Enmore Theatre. So yeah, Enmore Theatre on Enmore Road, but in Marrickville. Get around it. Let's move on to the next location. Oh, here's the box office for the Enmore Theatre. There we go. Yeah, so as we head down um, Enmore Road here, I'm heading towards Newtown Station. I've run out of time. I completely miscalculated how long it was going to take to get from Marrickville Pork Roll over to the Enmore Theatre. It was way too long, the walk. So I did want to go over to the Marrickville Metro today and show you where the first Audi supermarket for Australia was delivered. And I wanted to have a look at it myself because I haven't been there since the early 90s. But I've just run out of time. I've got to get back from meeting. So I'm going to jump on the Iron Horse at Newtown Station. So I'll wait till I get up there and then I'll say goodbye to you there. So I'm actually on the train. I didn't get to say goodbye in the station because the train came straight away. But I'd like to thank you again for coming on the little skirt around Marrickville today. Um, I could have spent another two days there 
with all the different places there are there the microbreweries the restaurants the cafes all the rest of it but um yeah next time you come out to sydney make sure you get out to marrickville it's a great joint to check out and um that'll be it for this vid the video is over